For the Lord himself, with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trumpet of God, will descend from heaven, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who as we live, those of us who remain, will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And thus we will always be with the Lord. First Thessalonians chapter 4 verse 16 to 17 Because not everyone will die at that time. Only those who have been called to be martyrs for Christ will die. Those souls specially formed for this purpose. Because being a martyr is also a calling. And I am preparing all those who have this call so that when the time comes to answer it, they will be well prepared, willing and delivered, and will even be anointed to die, being executed for not denying their faith. And I saw thrones, and those who received power to judge sat on them. And I saw the souls of those beheaded, because of the testimony of Jesus and because of the word of God. Those who had not worshipped the beast or his image, and who did not receive the mark on their foreheads or on their hands, and they lived and reigned with Christ a thousand years. Revelation chapter 20 verse 4 This gives me glory. These sons have exceptionally tough hearts and are strictly determined to finish the rest. They are loyal hearts, not sold for money or fame or anything the devil tries to seduce them with, not even taking them to the pinnacle of the temple and offering them the whole world with its glory and riches would they yield. They are enlightened people, they are highly inspired people, who do not give their arm to twist even if the ship is shaken by the tide. I'm preparing this for when the days come, when true Christians will be called children of the devil, because everything is turning around, and they will call the good bad, and the bad they will call good. This is what is approaching on earth. These are the days to come. This is how the last days will be. The empire of Satan is being raised over the world, and each one will have to choose if they want to be part of it or refrain from obeying the laws of disobedience. Because like many things, the laws will also be reversed to have a chance to sin. Virtually everything bad will be allowed and the good will be out of the way and will be condemned and judged. And he will speak words against the Most High and he will crush the saints of the Most High and he will think of changing times and law and they will be delivered into his hand until a time and times and half a time. Daniel chapter 7 verse 25 Ethics will be a new ethic and the values that human beings had will disappear. Atrocities will be approved by the crowds. Mass reps, scandals everywhere, flattery of all kinds, mix of animal babies, mix of forbidden seeds, unthinkable social experiments. The same earth will be a laboratory of experiments between humans and the seeds of another origin. It is not crazy what the Spirit of God says, since in part this has already happened before, when the sons of God intermingled with the daughters of men. Only in these last days, the hand of man is being more invasive and will have a lot to do with the genetic alterations that will allow Saturn to manifest more easily in these new forms of pseudo-human bodies. You do not have to believe it, because this will still come, with your consent or not, with your understanding or not, with your approval or without your approval because by this time the enemy will have advanced too far to be stopped, reaching a dominance over the freedom of man and the masses never seen before. Saturn already has his scientists working and getting done to work to fulfill what was determined. There are things that are about to come to light, but that they are not seen does not mean that they are not taking shape. You are not naive, but insightful to understand 
and to accept the new reality that is manifesting itself, which in the spiritual has already descended, and it only needs to be made visible to the eyes of the flesh. I know that many find it difficult to believe it, but what happens is that you do not know how macabre the mind of man can be as he is corrupting and allowing the powers of darkness to enter. They cannot imagine the level of wickedness to which those who lend themselves to be used as the devil's chosen instruments will be taken. O oh, Adatra souls, the punishment that awaits them will be according to their deeds. Just like the righteous, the wicked wait for the reward from his master, not knowing that what awaits them is nakedness, rope, and burning. Understand, beloved, that the Lord will not come before apostasy, division, persecution, martyrdom, loneliness, enmity with God, Intolerance, disgust for the born again are manifested. All this must happen to separate the light from the darkness, because as it was in the beginning, it will be again in the end. And this is the beginning of the end, a new genesis that takes place before their eyes, and very, very few can recognize. And just as when in the days of Noah, the abominations were cut off by the flood, when they reach their maximum, allowed expression for that time. In this last time, modern abominations will be cut by fire when they reach the extreme of evil allowed for this age. Time is speeding up and the days are getting shorter and the speed of what happens in the spiritual goes faster. Man receives inspiration more frequently and has the time necessary to implement the ideas he has already received from the evil one. But from now on, everything will go faster and things will unleash one after another, almost without respite. Because hearts are already prepared to conceive a greater evil. For man, many things are already normal that were not before and he no longer stops to judge them, but lets them run like the engine of a clock runs. For then there will be a great tribulation, such as has not been from the beginning of the world until now, nor will there be. And if those days were not shortened, no one would be saved, but because of the chosen ones, those days will be shortened. Matthew chapter 24, verse 21 to 22. O oh, beloved, I am shedding light on many matters. Understand, such, ask, ask me to remove the veil. Because I respond to those who are thirsty and hungry for justice. I open the door to those who knock and knock and do not stop knocking. Do you want to know? Ask me. Do you want to understand? Give yourselves more to the only possessor of the internal keys. Call, and it will open. Seek, and you will find. Because this is the determined time to unveil many mysteries hidden from before the foundation of the world. This is the appointed time when those prophecies that were sealed so that they cannot be understood, will be revealed. But you, Daniel, close the words and seal the book until the end of time. Many will run from here to there, and sins will increase. Daniel chapter 12, verse 4. This is the time where I will give the interpretation that Daniel did not receive on some of the issues of these times. These are the days before the end, and those who clean themselves will be able to understand, but those who do not want to clean themselves will not understand. The author of the prophecies, 
the author of trustworthy writings. The one who seals and no one opens, and opens and no one seals. The God of Noah, Daniel, and the prophets. Yahweh, the creator Elohim, whose name cannot be named among the living. The one that is, the one that always was, and the one that will be forever and ever. Amen and Amen. So be it. Glory to the Lord.